Hello everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. It's Monday, uh, October 26th, and we have a new Mystery Case Card. Um, MCC 25, Mystery Case Card Challenge 25. This week we're focusing on quick and easy cards. Yes, we are going to focus on pattern paper again. Uh, you guys have one more week to scoop up any pattern paper that's currently discounted 15%. So uh, my hints were to you to find pattern paper you wanted to use, coordinating cardstock, coordinating ink, take a stamp set, whether you want to make a holiday card or a birthday card or a Thanksgiving's card, whatever kind of card you want to make, find your stamp set that you want to use with your inks. You can certainly add framelits or paper punches, embossing folders, and any embellishments you have that coordinate. So remember, they're your cards. You make them your way. I'm just simply giving you a pattern to work from. Okay. So we are going to be working with 12 by 12 paper. At least I'm going to be working with 12 by 12 paper. And this week, the first card pattern I'm going to share with you is actually going to use a small sample size. This is 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 means you could get 12 panels out of one large sheet. So 12 cards from one sheet. So that's quite a few cards to get from one sheet of paper. This one we are going to be using Very Vanilla and Pretty Peacock because those are coordinating colors. Okay, and I've got my card base and my envelope. I've got some paper to do a little embellishment and a tag. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to mount my pattern paper onto my Pretty Peacock. So I cut my Pretty Peacock so it's a quarter of an inch larger than my pattern paper, so three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm just gonna center that right on there. Now, if you want it to be um, frugal with your paper, if you wanted to punch or die cut something from Pretty Peacock to coordinate with your card, you could do that before you put your DSP on there. Now, this card could go this direction, right, portrait, or if you wanted to turn it sideways, it certainly could go to landscape. So at this point, it's your choice. Or you could do some of each. Okay? So now we are going to be using the Christmas Gleaming stamp set because that's what coordinates with this paper very nicely. And I'm going to be using the Merry Christmas stamp with Pretty Peacock. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And I have a three-quarter inch scrap piece here. So I'm going to stamp it and then I'm going to trim it down. So I just want to stamp it close to an edge. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my paper snips because this one's pretty small to cut the piece exactly the right size to start with. So I just stamp it first and then I use my paper snips and I just come in and trim the edges. Okay, nice and easy. Just follow the line of your stamp. So even if you stamped it off a little crooked, you could come in and trim it so that it was square. Okay, so there is my sentiment. So now all my layers could go up on dimensionals if I wanted to. I think I'm going to have my sentiment kind of off to the side a little bit. I could offset my panels, right? They don't have to be exactly in the middle. They can be off to one side if you wanted to have a thinner border up there and have a thinner, a thicker border down here. You certainly can do that. So don't let you meet the way I lay it out be the hard, fast rule. No rules. You make your card the way you want to. Okay, I am going to snail down my piece, and I am going to put it here in the center. I'm closer to the top than the bottom, so my framing on the top and the side is a little narrower than the framing on the bottom. And then I'm going to add my sentiment that I just made with dimensionals. So I'm just going to flip that over my dimensionals to the back and then put this on. I do want to offset a little bit. So there's that. So that could be a quick and easy couple of layers. Um, simple stamping. I am going to stamp on the inside. Now I've put two of the sentiments together. The Deck the Halls and the Be Jolly. I've put them side by side on one stamp and I'm going to head and stamp those on the inside for my reading. So there's that. Okay. Now, I could stop right there, but I am going to add one more embellishment if you want to. 
I'm going to stamp one of these ornaments. I like this ornament with this paper because it matches the pattern pretty closely. Right? So I like those patterns together. And then I have the coordinating paper punch. If you didn't have coordinating paper punch, you certainly could trim that out with your paper snips. Okay, so I pop that right out. And then I'm going to put that up on dimensionals too. Let's see, I'm going to use a piece of my edge. That'll work just fine. So, you could keep it simple, just like that. Or you can go ahead and add a little embellishment. Um, what about for our envelope, right? I'm going to go ahead and put that same ornament on my envelope. I'm going to kind of be off to the side though. So I'm not going to put the whole ornament on there. I'm only going to put a hint of the ornament on there. Okay, so there is our card and our envelope together quick and simple. So like I said, we started with a 3 by 4 sample of pattern paper. So whether you cut up a large 12 by 12, whether you cut up a 6 by 6, you certainly get 3 by 4 out of 6 by 6. Or if you just go to your scrap bin and find a piece that's 3 by 4 or slightly different and you mount it quarter of an inch larger and make your card, simple card, quick and easy. Okay, so don't forget, I love to see what you guys are doing with the cases and challenges. So if you play with us this week, go ahead and snap a photo and shoot it off to me at Susan at PumpkinHillStampers.com. I hope you guys are working on your holiday cards or your birthday cards or whatever cards you're working on next. And I will see you again later this week. I have a few more videos to share with you. Similar ideas, quick and simple. Um, just different ways of cutting up that paper and using it for the main focal embellishment of our cards. Alright everybody, that's it for Monday. See you again soon. Bye-bye.